The other C, helping hands. This is so important. We're talking about friendship and community. So here's a symbol of a hand, a hand within a hand. So for this candle, you can use a blue candle. It could be plain, or it can use the seal with the candle wrap and a petition letter. And as I said, you can use a blue plain candle without the graphics. And what's most important is that your intentions are specific. So just a blue hand with a little hand in it, a hand in a hand, hand in a hand, a helping hand. Did you get this, Sarah? <laughs> Did you, did you get the hand? <laughs> She's, oh, her face turned pink. As I saw you're like, oh, I love, like Sarah, did she creates this gorgeous, she takes notes, but she takes notes like no one I, I know. Like she does like beautiful drawings. And when I see her pictures, I'm like, I said that? Like, that's what I said in class because she makes it look so good. So thank you. I'm sorry, I'm embarrassing you, Sarah. I'm sorry, but I really appreciate all the, the beautiful art that you, that you create with the notes from these classes. Mm, mm. Kindle says, never any barrier. And today I use the same mentality to stay sober. Exactly. Okay, so you're looking for community and friends. So the herbs and crystals that are good for, for community and friends, when you're look, looking for new friends or other community people, people in your life who will, who can help you and be supportive, the herbs are lemon, love seed, passion flower, and sweet pea. Love seed, that's not the technical, there's a, there's like a, love seed is known as love seed, but uh, I think there's like this, it's, it's original, Latin name is like really something long and funky. So they just call it love seed. But just know that it is an herb that is used to encourage and foster friendship. Crystals, it's barite, blue chalcedony, uh, lapis lazuli, malachite, and rose quartz. So these are really, these are great elements for for community and friends. So again, if there's like a tea that you wanna make or a floor wash or a bath, you wanna do something else and be creative, you can totally do that. With the crystals, if you want to like carry them on your person because you wanna meet new people, you're looking for someone to, you're looking for a mentor or a teacher, uh, a group, you know, these, um, these crystals are, are good for that. So, and I'll tell you a little more about, well, I'll give you a second to get these, to write these down. Okay, so helping hands, burning a helping hands candle, it attracts helpful people. Because you know, when we're trying to make these changes in our lives, it's so important to have helpful people. People who are, they could, it could be in the form of friends, mentors, and even supportive strangers when you least expect it. I tell you, you know, you've heard about the kindness of strangers. How many times have we found ourselves in a jam and like an angel, someone happens to notice that we need something or they just come by at the right time and they're able to help us with something. And hopefully we have done the same for others. But burning a helping hands candle is when you're like, okay, I need to find new friends. I need to find a mentor. I need to find an AA group of people that are like-minded. I am trying to get out of debt and I'm looking for people who are also looking to get out of debt or I want to uh, I want to start a business, but none of, no one I know, I, I, like all the people that I know right now, everyone is very critical. And I, I want people who have started a business before, someone who can give me some, some guidance. That is what the Helping Hands candles for. This is taking the intention of, please send helpful people to my, send you know, helpful people my way. And Helping Hand candles are good for showing you who your real friends are and who are and who isn't. And, you know, when we are going through things, it's so important to have people who are supportive and people who will go out of their way to do what it is that, that you know, that, that helps to support you. So you want to know if you're not sure before who your friends are, you definitely want to know when you are making changes. So again, this ritual is good when you need to find a new circle of friends 
whose values are in alignment with your desired goals. And, um, oh, fiery heart, oops, this is supposed to be a helping hand. The helping hand candles are best started on a Wednesday because we're harnessing mercury energy and open hearted communication. So that was supposed to be helping hands candles, good old copy and paste. Um, helping hands candles best started on Wednesdays to harness mercury energy. Mm -hmm. This color is blue. So this is a blue, blue candle. So the symbol is a blue hand and there's a hand in the middle. So blue, it's mercury. Um, you can use this symbol or you can use a blue candle. But you know, if all you have are white candles, white candles can be substituted for everything. So if you all you have are just a whole bunch of white candles, that's fine. Your intention is always going to be the most important. Yes. Oh, yes, Brianka. Mm -hmm. um, do you suggest a day for the clarity candle? No. Clarity candle is good any day of the week, any time of the day, any any phase of the moon. Clarity candle any day, because when you need clarity, you need it, period. Let's see. So let's see. So the candle how to is just for everything. So you would write your petition letter or your intention letter and you would request your desired outcome. So whether you're talking to, if you have a deity that you're working with or ancestors, a spirit guide, the universe, whoever you are petitioning, um, nature, you know, not everyone, not everyone uh, is petitioning a particular deity, by the way. Burn your candle uh, for seven days. Like if you're using a seven day candle, you can burn it until it until it's done. You can snuff out the candle when you go to bed or leave home and just let it burn till it's done. Like just keep on burning. A lot of the seven can seven day candles now well might burn out in like four days. That's but it doesn't matter. Burn it all the way down. And while this is going on, pay attention to any conversations, events that shed light on your situation. Because when you're burning this candle, when you're doing this, this process, you're opening yourself up to messages. Like when we're doing any kind of ritual, we're saying, okay, we're saying to the universe, you're saying to your spirit guide, I am seeking help with a situation. And so after that, keep your ears and heart open because you will start to receive messages that are coming to you. They might come to you through songs, dreams, conversations that you hear just you know that, that are passing you by because rituals are actually a two-way conversation between you and the universe you're saying this is what i want to achieve this is what i'm trying to create and then you will start to hear messages of well this is what you can do so take those like any of those inspired messages or those in, in those if you get ideas to do things people to see people to talk to follow those leads. And if you're compelled to ask questions, you know, to get more clarity, for example, ask them, prepare for the answer. You might not always like them, but if you feel like as a result of doing this work, you want to ask someone something, if there's like, you're like something, all of a sudden you start getting a question of, does this person know this thing? Ask that question. You might not like the answer, but if you feel compelled to ask it, that means you have to ask it. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this is the helping hands, just blah, 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 blah. Cause I just go 